now for step 46. Is there any little parts here that we may need that we don't already have, uh, you know, nipped off and trimmed and painted? And I really don't think so. Like even these searchlights, we made those, oh my goodness, episodes ago, months ago, I think. Uh, yeah, I think probably months ago. And uh, now about yesterday's episode, it went on and on and on. There's a little part right here, which is this little part right here. And my goodness, what did I spend about five minutes trying to get a little piece of dust scraped off the edge there? I imagine that <clears throat> if you were watching yesterday's episode, you're not watching today's. I mean, it just, uh, I just became obsessed with getting that little piece of dust off. Anyway, I'm going to try not to do that again. Uh, because, you know, this little piece here, you can hardly see the piece, let alone a little tiny piece of microscopic dust that was on it. But I think it was sort of a challenge. I wanted to see, could I get it off? I don't know what was going on there, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm, you know... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my age is starting to show up here or something. Anyway, I'm just going to double check now and make sure that all these uh, various little parts, and as near as I can see right now, looking at it, I think we have everything uh, nipped off. Uh, this is this, and this is this, and and the two little photo etch pieces that have to go here and here. We've got those. Uh, the, one of them's right there, and the other's over there. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're ready to go. Uh, so, let's go. Now, I was sure that I was going to be getting comments in the uh, on yesterday's episode about how I was putting way too much uh, of this uh, Tamiya Extra Thin on. I mean, my goodness, I was sloshing it around on the deck like a drunken sailor. Uh, no offense if you happen to be a drunken sailor. Anyway, uh, yeah. I think we need two of these. Okay, no, wait a minute. These are different. Okay, this is one of these. And this was the one that has the four little bumps on it. Okay, so that'll be that one. Then we need one of these. I think it's an ammunition chest, but I'm not sure. Okay. Then we need one of these. Uh, didn't we conclude that that's, this is a speaker? Now, we got everything. That, that, that. And the life rafts and the gun. I think that's all the pieces we need for this section right here. Now, when I was talking about sloshing the extra thin around on the deck, this is the part that I was thinking of right here. Uh, that was the worst. It uh, it really got away on me. This caught me by complete surprise. I didn't expect this to happen. Anyway, you can see where it actually wicked its way right up the back of this vent or whatever this is supposed to be. So I am going to have to repaint that. Yeah. Let's give ourselves a bit of a dry run here and make sure that those pegs are going to fit because they do have paint on them. Yeah, that should be all right. It's a bit of a tight fit. I did enlarge those holes with the drill earlier. Um, because I was going to use the uh, CA glue instead of the extra thin. If I was to use the extra thin, maybe if I just put some extra thin on the uh, pegs and didn't put it on the deck. Let's try that. think that that's probably going to uh, well, 
I got my uh, tweezers in the wrong side. Let's try it again here. Okay. I would think that once that solidifies, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty good. Did I scrape some of the paint off there? Well. Okay, now. If you will recall from a few days ago when I was putting these on, I was finding it not as easy as I thought. So I think I'm probably going to reposition everything here. That way I can uh, make some sort of a steady rest for my hand and uh, stand a lot better chance of not getting CA glue all over the place because I do plan on putting a little, a little tiny droplet of CA uh, medium on the top of each one of these three little, uh, I don't know what you call them, some sort of a pedestal. I think I got it. Okay, if I can get the front two on, the back one should be lined up. good to me. Well, a couple of minutes has passed here. Probably about five minutes. I would think that uh, yeah, nothing fell off. I had intended to use my Tamiya Extra Thin, but you know, at the last minute I changed my mind. And as you can see, it worked out okay. Now here's something that's kind of, I would call funny. And that is that the manual shows this piece 180 degrees around. Now, the way I see it is these two little bumps here, the, the short one and the long one, well, that's what you're actually going to be looking out of. And you view it from the back here. So you wouldn't want to be standing, you know, on, on this side of the guard. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to put it this way because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go this way. Oh my, is that solidifying on me now? Okay. Now for this one here, it does show it facing what I would call the logical way. But you notice on the bottom of it, it's kind of, uh, well, it should have been trimmed a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, extra thin on that and just sort of uh, dissolve some of this plastic.
Let it sort of, as I say, smoosh its way into place here. Okay, enough poking. Now, the only thing we have left here is this, what I believe is a little loudspeaker. You know, I was just thinking, why don't we check Stefan's book afterwards and see if we can find each one of these six pieces that we just put on. I think they're probably all in there. Um, yeah, anyway, according to the drawing here, the manual, uh, this piece is supposed to go on uh, the other side because this is this is turned around. I have it backwards here. Um, but why don't we just sort of break with po protocol here because there's a, uh, a J40 here and there's a, a J40 on this side. Where was it? Yeah, there it is. So, uh, you know, as long as we're working on this side, let's just, uh, I think probably we'll just turn this up on its edge. Uh, that'll be the easiest way to go. At least that's my thinking. And then we can just, once again, let gravity do the work for us. Now I was originally going to use the vise to hold this up on its edge. And in the process I was uh, getting a little bit ham-handed, I guess, and I accidentally knocked our little gun off. So I had to re-glue it back on. I think I did a little bit more substantial job. But I think something like this is going to be just fine. I'll get this twisted around here so I can drop the little piece on and it goes right there. Now believe it or not this, this thing does look symmetrical but it's uh, there's a right way and a wrong way for it to go on. Once I get the tweezers out of the way here I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to try and wedge it in the hole and then maybe put a little bit of extra thin on there. Okay you'll notice that this one here is a little longer than the one on the other side. And uh, that goes to the top. And of course this is the top up here. I think that's in there. Okay, yeah, hammer it in, Ron. Now I had been hoping here that I could get the super macro on while the glue was still drying and you could see it actually evaporating, but it just took too long and it's pretty much set already. And here we are on Stefan's book, as I promised. Well, I didn't promise, but I said I would. And this one is actually supposed to be this one. And this one here is supposed to look like this. And our 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. Well, it's actually supposed to look like this. As for our loudspeaker, well, it's uh, kind of supposed to look like this. Now as for the life rafts, I couldn't really find anything that uh, was specific on them. At least not when they were grouped like that. Uh, but at least we have them where they appear in one of the drawings. Now you have to remember these are all drawings. And uh, yeah, they're what they really looked like. It would be nice if we had actual photographs, but we don't. But I think that probably Stefan got them pretty correct. Now I kind of alluded to this before, but these pieces over here are sort of mirror image already put on over here. So I'm not going to video these being put on. But we got a couple of different ones here. There's this one and there's this one. They've got to go on the side. I think once again I'll just lay the part on its side. And uh, oh my goodness, I see a piece of dust. Quick, get out the macro lens. Okay, I've lost enough viewers. Anyway, yeah, I think that's it for today, folks. We'll uh, continue on with these tomorrow. 
and I'll, I'll lay this over on its side. It'll be a lot easier. So, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.